welcome to the new video of mules of online learning so in this video we will be concentrating more about the domain uh, projects so uh, there are instances like if you are having on-premise deployment set up in your organization so many of the times uh, you don't want to repeat the same connection uh, for each and every project so you need a mechanism to share those resources, the shared resources, basically the HTTP connection, DB connections or Kafka connections or whatever. So in order to create a reusable component so that it can be referred as and when required in new projects as well, domain projects are being referred. So we will start first with some uh, documentation part, the concept building and after that we will uh, go back to a sample uh, domain project and its uses in the Mule app. So uh, I am referring for dot three latest uh, uh, documentation. So it talks about like uh, only one domain at a time it can be deployed and it's only available on premises. So if you are planning to deploy on Cloud Hub, uh, domain project is not an option because in Cloud Hub uh, every Mule application instance run on a particular worker in a containerized mode so all the resources are already available in that container and there is uh, there are no chances of race conditions for the different uh, resources available so uh, whereas it is a possibility in on-premise setup so we need to have a domain project in that case so this has been used to expose multiple services within the domain through the same port, share the connection to persistent storage, share services between mule application through well-defined interface, and consistency between mule application upon changes because configuration is only set in one place. So this is very vital like if you want to centralize all, all of your connection details just in case uh, you need to have annual certification renewal process in place. So just you need to update in domain project and that's it. You don't have to touch any of the individual applications. So, just opposite of it, if we are having 100 applications, none of them are using domain project, and if they are using HTTPS or secure connection anywhere, and after a period of time, those connections or certificate need to be renewed, you have to touch this all the 100 applications. So, it's a time consuming both for support team as well as for developer to cross check. So uh, the second approach could be the domain project in which you have to change only at a centralized position in the domain project and that's it. So rest of the documentation talks about the different uh, mule architecture so we will be discussing about it. So let's keep this open and we will refer it as and when it is being required from our mule project. So um, this is my Anybody Studio. I am right clicking uh, towards it and new. Uh, I will go for mule domain project. I will put uh, this as a uh, domain project and runtime is 430 uh, default location I will click on finish uh, so you must have noticed like it doesn't open up the canvas for the flow sort of thing right yes because it is only for shared resources not for the application logic application logic will still reside inside the mule based projects only so I am going to create a new one, let's say HTTP, okay somehow it is not coming up, so I will click on cancel, uh, manage modules, so manage module it directly comes up to the uh, this particular part in which you can look for something, and let me click here, uh, it gives three different options to add the module from exchange, from maven, from feature module, so I will go from exchange. I will type HTTP maybe. I will go with HTTP connected. So you can check what all different uh, uh, the versions of HTTP connected are available. So it's better to go with the latest one because means of uh, uh, fixes a lot of bugs if there are any. Uh, so it's always favorable to go with the latest version and click on finish it will take a couple of seconds to load this http connector within the mule domain project so it, it by default it takes up the software connector as well i will click apply and apply close 
So on the left hand side you can see the HTTP connector along with the sockets and the GRE being deployed and the mule runtime all are being automatically uh, loaded as in as we have seen in the case of mule application the normal application application as well I will type HTTP this time uh, this is will be a listener config I will click OK uh, this will be a generator let's quickly check the connection availability okay this is good so I will type something here to identify like it will be coming from domain project so domain underscore should be okay and put okay here you can see the name is domain stabilization config I will save this project let's quickly glance through the different uh, files being created and uh, I will uh, uh, hop back to the uh, documentation so here you can see one file will be the mule domain config xml and it will be containing all the shared resources so this is mule domain, domain config xml uh, if you go to the configuration xml uh, you can see this is a specific tag for domain this is to identify like this is the part of domain project after that the http listener config connection which we have created the port and the host by default the second thing is the pom xml pom xml will be containing all the dependencies of the project so the name the domain project artifact id and the important thing to notice over here will be see all the connector http and socket connector is being deployed So just pretty much of it. Let me hop back to over here. This Maven Pom Maven Pom file uh, required plugins for the domain project, and there will be mule artifact JSON that will be the descriptor for the domain artifact. So what it displays is basically what is the mule version which we are using for this particular application, which is 430. Okay. So let's quickly save this guy and I will create one more application that will be making use of this domain project. Uh, right click, go for mule project. Uh, I will name it as a domainized, domainized, domainized mule app. Okay guys, so I have set the mule server present time and click on finish. So here is a uh, major change, right? Um, now, in the case of domain project, we have seen that it doesn't open the message flow, but in the case of the Mule app, it opens up the message flow along with the global elements and configuration XMLs as well. So let me quickly drag and drop in this in this guy, and I will put a maybe a log. I will not be complicating this Mule app because it is pretty much. Um, uh, it's simple and the more emphasis is to showcase like how we can refer the uh, domain project over here so I will right click and maybe I can go for properties and just need to check if all is well over here so if you go to the mule project you will come to see like uh, server runtime in the domain domain is by default but it gives the option of domain project as well the reason being domain project has been created to be in this particular workspace only that's why um, okay so i have clicked over it i will apply apply and close i will save this guy so it why it is giving this error because the configuration xml uh, needs to be uh, changed for this we need to give the path i will give path let's say for domain okay not a problem i'll put it set payload as well it will help us to test the mule app domain project demo now i will log it i will be putting some simple message dominized project Sorry for this. Dominance project executed. Just send the message. You can put anything as per your wish. Now we will cross check like how the things are moving in POM and other things. So I will quickly go to the POM and I can see. 
some references maybe I'm looking for this HTTP connector mule domain project so here you can see the domain project mule domain so this is the main uh, dependency which gets added up automatically in case uh, you want to use it externally from this uh, mule domain project you can add this particular piece of code change this artifact id with your domain project name and add it into the uh, mule project directly one more thing i would like to mention have you noticed this http uh, connector configuration this domain project is already coming up reason being this is being referred from our domain project i will say this project is already saved let me see what all this is all about show two warnings what it is all about multiple definition application domain project it is showing like this okay why is it so because whenever we create a mule app it directly comes up with the http connector and it is showing it is coming up two times okay so that's why it is coming up here and it's showing warning but for the time being we can ignore this warning both these warnings are about http and the uh, socket jar so that should be fine um, there is no issue in that uh, let's quickly check on the mule artifact json as well it is same as 430 so we are all good to test this further i will right click and uh, click on run project i will check this console till the time it gets loaded i will quickly check what setup i have done slash domain and it will be on 8081 okay so it shows that it has failed somehow i need to check why is it so it shows incompatible version of plugin that is for mule socket connector okay so let me do something here I would like to change this I will go to properties maybe I will apply and close I will I will check on domain project as well what is the version they are making use of it I will go to the mid time just just hold on for a second I will come back I will add from here maybe socket Zero one one six. I will click on finish. And similarly here as well, I need to have it onto the same level. One level elements maybe manage. I will need to update this version apply and close i will save it quickly all is in sync now i hope so 116 116 so we should be good now i am going to give it another try i will stop this new domain instance right click and go for run project So this time you you have noticed like uh, since all the jar versions of socket and HTTP are in sync so that's why it is getting deployed. Uh, couple of things like uh, 
the mule domain project that is domain project is being deployed and the domain domainized mule app is already installed along with that so we are good to test it now i again need to cross check the url it's domain okay so it's nothing but i will put domain over here i will change this to get click on parents i will click on send button domain project demo that is we have set in our set payload and this is the local message so i hope guys on uh, this particular project help you to configure the domain project in your uh, respective projects domain project is very vital in order to um, create a centralized project which can be used as a project library uh, in terms of some other uh, middleware uh, technologies like tipco there is a concept of proslib it's quite similar to that uh, you don't have to create multiple uh, http listener requester and other db connections all connection related thing you can put on, on the domain project and uh, you can concentrate only on the application logic building so i hope you like this video and uh, you can start working on some specific business use cases as per your requirement and thanks for joining and stay tuned for the new upcoming exciting videos of mules of online learning thank you